So you probably saw in my last video that our Wi-Fi's been acting up. But I got it pretty much all hooked back up and ready to go. But I want to show y'all something real quick. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on this. Hold on. Let's see if I can get it to focus or not. It may or it may not. There it goes. You see that? All that dirt. It's not as dirty on this side. You, you're probably wondering where all that came from. Well, here's a good tip if your internet cable router is acting up. You could just take a Q-tip and just wipe around or clean around the the um, cable uh, port. And, if, and also if you have a splitter, if you're running it off a splitter like we are here, you could just take that off and clean it as well. Because we have two cable routers. Well, this one, like I, like, I mean, if for those who don't know, I mean, some of y'all might remember this, but this one used to be our internet and router, internet and phone router, but this one's now phone use only, home phone use only, I should say. And this one's our internet router nowadays. But a perfect tip, another perfect tip for y'all. If y'all are ever getting cable routers from your provider, you might as well buy your own routers from like, a, like I don't know, maybe buy one from Walmart or maybe buy, order one off of Amazon. And, you, and it, it, I would recommend y'all buying the, that from Walmart or whatever. And then your cable provider can just program it for you. Because the routers that you give you are, are honestly just a piece of crap. Because the Wi-Fi, like the Wi-Fi we used to use on this router, it kept dropping so much it is no joke that's why we got a netgear router well you probably wonder where this netgear router came from well it's a long story but basically okay so at my mom's one of my mom's works office of buildings whatever um apparently the the router was acting up there and i, I was i wasn't awake to go up there and fix it because i was i was asleep my days and nights were mixed up at the time the whole problem was somebody, one of the kids, I guess, accidentally pressed the wireless button so the Wi-Fi was off on it the whole time when I brought it home. Alright, well let's get this hooked back up. I'm going to start with the Hitchon router first because this, this usually takes a while to reboot. Alright, cable's in. Now this is going to take a while to reboot. But while, while it's rebooting, I'm going to show you some that's a little bit off topic. You'll notice on this Tekken smart power strip, not only is the red light lit, the blue light is lit as well, indicating that it has lost connection. So that's something to keep in mind of. At least it indicates that it lost connection. Alright, back to the routers now. Haven't even finished eating my breakfast yet. and I'm still on my first cup of coffee. Alright, for real, back to the routers now. Okay, and it's now rebooting. Now, if it doesn't want to reboot right, I'll just have to improvise. I can improvise like last time, how I just grab my uh, Wi-Fi adapter, hook it up to my computer, and use the, um, so I connect my hotspot to the Wi-Fi adapter and bridge the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi adapter together, and just hook that up to the Netgear router. But that's just going to depend if it reboots right or not. Let's see. So far, so good. The at, sim the at symbol is the online light. And of course you have the downstream and upstream. Okay, we're back online so far now let's hook the Netgear router back up this is a really great router by the way if y'all want to order one of these I'll see if I can find one off of Amazon I'll put it a link in the description this is a Netgear it's a what route what model is this it's a R6400 V2 it's a really great router honestly Oh, 
if I could if I could even get back here to plug it up. That is. Okay, it's in. You know, I want to actually grab the duster and dust these routers off real quick. Hold on. Alrighty, I just dusted the routers real quick. Might not be 100%. There's also a power button back here that I'm going to press that turns it on. Here we go. Alright, we got power. Now these lights are going to be going crazy for a little bit, but that's just normal. You're probably wondering, I did have this, well, I norm because we have the printer in here, normally we would have the printer on that uh, shelf in the old office area, but because we got the indoor nativity set there for right now, I have to bring in the printer in here. But when the printer's out of here, then the wireless printing doesn't work because I guess it's not getting enough signal strength. So that's gonna, this is probably gonna take a little while to reboot as well. And the one light's, the one light is lit, that's just coming from my computer right here. There's the wireless light coming on. That's why the, um, again, this router used to be at my mom's work, which was out of daycare. And, and when I brought it home, the internet was working fine, like the internet, but the Wi Fi wasn't. Turns out somebody had to turn off the wireless, which is right here. So they got the same new router, and apparently, again, I, I was asleep when all this happened. Should be any moment now. Also, the wireless is off on this Hitron router. And that's just the Ethernet light right there. Alright, I think we're back up in business. I'll just leave the I'll just leave the fan in here for a little while and let it or I mean I, mean, I could turn it off. I don't know yet. Yeah, let me go ahead and turn it off, and I'll move it back. I gotta clean this fan up, by the way. It's all full of dust. And again, that I understand that one light is lit is orange. That's just coming from my computer. It's it stays orange whenever the computer is shut down, or if it's in sleep or hibernate. So yeah, I think that I think we're all back up in business. I'll have to um check in a little bit and see and see if our videos my videos are gonna play on my phone right or not and I will update y'all. I'll come back and update y'all. I almost started to say no good at first because it tried to connect on my phone and it said connected without internet. So I was like, hmm, okay, so I just sat my phone on the chair here I went to go put my electric fan up and now it says it was connected <clears throat> so I did get going YouTube now my own YouTube videos are playing now and so far nothing else is having a delay so if you ever see anything fishy about your Wi-Fi just like I said you might you might just have to unplug your routers for a little while and let them cool down but if you have a cable router just unscrew the cable and just clean that contact for the cable line Yeah, so f I guess we won't be having any more glitches for a while. So that's pretty much it, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure y'all hit like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on turn on the bell. Set to all. Get me to 1,000 subscribers by Christmas or by the end of the year. We'll see you next time.